Okay, welcome to Thing Belair. Or something. I might have made that up. <laughs> There's uh, these tectonic plates. The heck? Tectonic plates that you can walk alongside. And the. Uh, yeah, it's filled with a crap ton of tourists, though. So. Okay, so I wanted to speak a little bit on the tourism of Iceland. And I thought it'd be kind of fitting to do it at uh, the most crowded place that we visited. A lot of the places that we visited were really uh, deserted because we traveled at odd hours. But we went to their one of their national parks, which was called Thingbeler. Uh, I journaled something about the tourism of Iceland because... Uh, uh, whenever we visit a country, we try to Google and learn about their people and about their politics and in their economy really quick, like a really, really, really quick study. So here's what I wrote in my journal. I'm aware that I live in a terribly over excessive, lavish and convenient country that is the United States of America. I know that other countries don't particularly love Americans either. So I always try to learn their perspectives, be respectful understand their customs and don't try to be offensive to the environment that I'm in. It looks like Iceland's opinion on tourism is divided according to my very quick research. The rich get richer with this tourism boom and the young and poor get displaced uh, with everything, you know, because of the, the tourists taking up that space. So balance sometimes means compensation. And so while the tourism boom seems to have lifted the country from its economic crash, the weight of the tourists is crippling the country's national spirit. Of course, this opinion isn't unanimous. It sounds split. That's all from what I hear. Is Iceland for tourists or for Icelanders? Uh, we're a part of that first wave of tourists that will be from about 2015 and onward. And there's so much ad spend and marketing for Iceland that I watched on YouTube that first made me interested more than just of, you know, its waterfalls and its horses. So while I don't think I'll be back here any time in my lifetime, I'll be very interested to see what happens and be grateful that we got to experience this serenity regardless. So before the new and the limiting boundaries that will come from this relatively new surge of tourism, I'm really grateful that we were able to experience this place sort of untouched, unscathed, and uh, without too many boundaries and fences. But 